It has been well over two years since we first went crabbing for a grandma to love us, and to our surprise, said affection will be coming a lot sooner nowadays, following a rather random and recent update to her quest. How we go about earning Pearl's friendship has changed, folks, and in turn, this crabby crustacean has seen an alteration to the endgame forever. If we still know how to win this old coot over, that is. Because while it is true that the progression of these quote-unquote hidden tasks has remained the same, one out of the 14 available to us is all sorts of strange today. Stage 1 of the Hermit Home now costs an additional Firefly, as you can see. Stage 2 will see us forking over Cutstone and Light Bulbs now to continue the trend of also needing 3 materials per floor. And finally, Stage 3 has gotten rid of its seasonal requirements and simply costs Rope and Carpet of all things. Yup. It's weird, but it also grants us much earlier access to the Lunar Endgame now, so that's definitely a plus. But hold up, Beard. What about them other 13 tasks out there? Is there anything new to note since we last tasked ourselves to do them? Actually, yes. Perhaps not with some of the most straightforward things, like hanging meat or other dryable foods on her racks, planting 10 butterflies and thus 10 flowers around her island, and or fertilizing 8 transplantable berry bushes. However, there is plenty of the discuss about the next task that Pat Beer did slash could not. For you see, while we have always been able to give Pearl an umbrella type thing whenever it was raining, we now know how to literally control said rain to help complete this task at any time essentially. Furthermore, the very same can be done with any winter related insulating chest gear and snowfall. So take advantage, Rickerbottoms. To continue, sailing about with a pinching winch that just so happens to be bought from Pearl herself could lead to us not only clearing all the underwater salvageables around her island, but also a very repeatable shell bundle farm. And while that's all fine and dandy and leads to a lot of honey, shell bells, and potentially the much improved broken shells, do note that we cannot repeat tasks for friendship points. But next comes the clarification of handling the naturally spawning day 35-ish lure plants that should be killed for another possible friendship level, and the misunderstanding of the fact that while we can in indeed feed Pearl a flower salad every 10 days, it is only the first one that actually counts for the friendship quest. And finally, the final two fish tasks. Pearl will accept four separate trades of the four seasonal fish of Don't Starve Together for a total of four unique friendship points, but will only do so if said fish are heavy enough. So a pocket scale and a heavy weighted lure will help with all of this. And note as well how these tasks lead to an additional reward in special lore adverts to boot. But in a similar vein, Pearl will also accept five heavy ocean fish in general for a potential point too. So be aware of it all. And there you have it, folks. All 14 tasks and then some. But here's a question. What exactly happens when Pearl's friendship levels up? Well, a lot actually. Complete but one task to gain access to Pearl's bottom exchange and its first three crafts. One being the pinching winch, which is literally essential to quote unquote beating this game. Finish a second task to receive your very first bundle of thanks, which should contain three random shell bells, a random lure, and honey if the flowers have been planted already. Friendship Level 3 unlocks five new bottle exchange recipes, all related to ocean fishing and the storing of lures and floats. Continue to complete four tasks, and a second bottle of thanks will be yours. Friendship Level 5 will follow suit, actually, so make note there. Level 6 will see the return of the bottle exchange, but this time we can expect all them special lures to be available, as you can see. Friendship Level 7 is the final gifting of a bundle of thanks, unless tasks are repeated, of course. Level 8 in introduces the two best floats in this game if you haven't already gotten them by a tactical receptacle mind, plus some fish food. And finally, Friendship Level 9 rounds out the bottle exchange itself with the Spectacular Box. A box that simply fits more lures and floats than the previous tackle box that Pearl sells too. But hold up now, as that is actually not all. Not when Friendship Level 10 also leads to Pearl's Pearl. Do bear in mind though, that our house must be completed in order to 
receive this thing, making that the one task that is actually 100% required at the end of the day. With the pearl in hand, however, the lunar endgame is in sight. And while it won't help us locate him, a dead crab king with pearls pearls socketed leads to the inactive celestial tribute here, which in turn is one of three celestial altars needed to kick off the moonstorms and everything that comes with them. And again, with the changes to Pearl's house, all of this is very much doable without having to wait until summertime now. So good luck. But before we go today, a few final notes. As always, it has never been too difficult to find Pearl to get started on any of this, as all we need to do is locate a single message in a bottle out there on the high seas, things that should be spawning quite often near us, mind, in order for the game to literally pinpoint her island for us. And while that is indeed the last practical note I have got for you today, I would like to truly end the day with another set of progression-based nonsense about Pearl herself. It's all fun, of course, but at first, she will be known to us as the Krabby Hermit and will want nothing to do with us. Heck, she will even bash us with words at times. But as tasks get done, she will start to lighten up a bit, and come midway through the quest, she will even start to dance. Reach friendship level 8, and she will not only dance whenever we do, she will also now be known to us as Pearl. Oh, and her house will go from the hermit home to Pearl's place as well. It's fun stuff. And yes, I know everyone, I could have mentioned throughout this whole thing that Pearl actually gives us mention and clues and teases about what to do on her island. But you are literally watching a guide on what to do on her island, and I just spent the past eight minutes spelling this out for ya, so I really don't think you need to pay attention to this old coot now, do ya? But there you have it everyone, an updated look and guide at and through Pearl's quest for Don't Starve Together here. Plenty has changed, lots has been learned along the way, but her love can still be bought just like it was two years ago. So get to it. Thanks for watching folks, well wishes to all, enjoy murdering her husband literally after all of this is done, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.